Hey everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and we've got the Sprint Kyocera Echo here we're having a look at. It's that crazy dual screen phone that a lot of people made a lot of fun of, but I'm glad we're gonna have, you know, have it here to have a look at and evaluate, bring something a little bit different to the table. And if you know me, you know I like different. Uh, have a look at the hardware. Let me shut the screen down. Uh, number one, fingerprint magnet. Number two, because of the way you manipulate it, you're constantly touching the screen and the power button apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that off while we look at the hardware itself. Notice on the bottom you've got nothing. On the top you've got nothing. On this side is nothing but the hinge so there's nothing there. Uh, there's nothing up my sleeve either. And we flip it over and all your buttons, ports, controls, everything is all lined up on one side. Uh, first thing I thought of, that would make it handy if you carry it in a horizontal holster of any kind. All your, everything you would need access to is up top. We'll start over here. You have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Under this cover, let me pop it open so you can see that I'm telling the truth. There's your micro SD card. You push it in and it'll eject itself and when you want to reseat it you push it in again we've seen that before pop that back on here's the power switch here's the volume rocker if you have the phone in the right position up is volume up down is volume down and finally we've got the USB port for charging data transfer or whatnot <coughs> excuse me close that and I said finally but this is the finally uh, a lanyard hole. You want to put a charm or a lanyard on the phone. They've built it in there for you, so if you want it, it's there. That's a good thing. On the back, you've got a 5 megapixel camera with a flash, and it's got a little vanity mirror if you want to take a photo of yourself. And most importantly, because we already talked a little bit about the charging port, battery cover, I think that's why they had David Blaine there. It takes a little bit of magic to get it off. There's a 1,370 milliamp hour battery in there and a little bit concerned about how difficult it is to put the door on and off because I've already noticed just the few hours I've had this battery life is going to be an issue. Uh, there's no way to get around it. It's just, you know, this battery would be fine if you were just dealing with this, but you're not. You're dealing with that and that's going to make a difference. You got twice the screen that's going to be on. But Kia Sera and Sprint already thought of that and provide a way for you to, you know, alleviate it a little bit. Uh, packaged in the box is this standalone battery charger and a second battery. They're identical, one's not higher capacity. You know, you just take your battery, make sure you line your contacts up on the right side, pop it in there, slide the door shut. Then if you look at this end, you've got a regular USB port. You can hook it up to your wall charger. A switch in the middle and what that switch does is the position it's in now if I plug it in over here this will charge in this position see we get a little light there this acts as a charger or an external battery and you've got you know DC 5 volts out you could use to power this while it's working or I guess if you wanted to you know charge your Bluetooth headset or whatever you've got that so you know they're they're not denying that it's gonna take extra battery we knew it came with some sort of, you know, external battery setup when they announced it in New York. So, I guess it's better for them, you know, to give you the tools that you need rather than deny that it's going to be an issue. So, nice move, Kia Sera, nice move, Sprint. Let's get this cover back on, and it's just as difficult to get on as it is to remove. And of course, when I said that, it went right on with no problem. Now let's look at the hinge. Uh, seen hinges on. A couple phones that people were concerned about uh, you know I the hinge is okay it at first I was concerned because when you when you flip it open until you get used to it you're gonna wanna move it more than it needs to be moved so I was concerned that this big plastic hinge is gonna end up breaking and then I did a little bit of reading and found out that it's not a plastic hinge it's a some sort of anodized copper alloy and it's pretty tough you know it feels you know it got I don't want to say a soft touch but it's got a plastic coating over it so it matches up you know the feel with the rest of the phone but it is made of metal the pins are as well the hinge isn't gonna break the phone itself would break first so you know we don't want that to happen but the hinge 
here's the coolest thing. Make it go. Now check this out, guys. Let me tap the search up here. Keyboard takes up the whole bottom. There's my search at the top. It's like a little tiny laptop. I feel like a giant. I, you know, I just love this. I get intrigued by gadgets, and that's sweet. Uh, it comes with swipe installed by default, and it is. It's like a little tiny one-finger laptop. I was fooling around with it, and it works, you know, better than you would think it works. I'm not going to say it's perfect. And I didn't, you know, only evaluated this for just a few minutes before we showed our first hands-on. So I don't want to, you know, say it's too good before it actually have, a, you know, we have a good look at it. We'll take a quick look at the software. Uh, it's basically stock Android. You know, it's, it's, I want to say themed or skinned very, very lightly. Uh, no Sprint ID on here. I don't know if that's good or bad. I guess that depends on your opinion. We can look at the widgets and you can see there's nothing fancy installed. Uh, it comes with a separate digital clock that I wish Android came with. Uh, there's your home screen tips. I did, you know, sign in. Wanted to make sure everything worked. I've, I've installed Google Voice myself. There's Jive. That's in the app drawer. We'll look at that in a minute. All your Sprint stuff, NASCAR, uh, Sprint Football, Sprint TV, System Panel, Tap a Talk, those things I installed gonna use system panel and really check out the battery and see just how much of an impact the screens have so that'll be handy five home screens uh, the screen itself is very responsive uh, I mean it's it's very responsive it's no funkiness no slowdown if you touch it whatever you touched is gonna happen and that's that's a blessing and a curse because whenever you manipulate it to open it you're constantly touching the screens so not only you get fingerprints everywhere, but you're you're you know you're shutting Wi-Fi off and everything else. So you'll have to get into the habit of shutting it off before you take a you know a quick thing to pop it open. <coughs> Notice it is in what we call landscape normally. Turn it like that, and you know portrait. It's one of the few phones that it doesn't do 180, so that's okay. Good time to check that. Pop it back here. It's one of the few phones that has a, you know, a stock landscape launcher and put it back does the same thing while it's closed. So if you are this kind of typer, you know, it's pretty cool. Your home screen is the same way. That's one neat thing. But what's really cool is find one of the apps that works. Okay, I'm going to get in close here on the messaging app. If you're familiar with Android, you know this messaging icon is a tiny bit different. You've got an extra little, it's two little dots down underneath the icon. And I'll show you why that's there in a minute. Let's open it. And there's my text messaging application. It's, you know, the stock Android text app. And it pops a little window on the bottom. It says to launch a separate second application, touch both screens at the same time after tapping OK. So we'll tap OK and I'll touch both screens and it brings up a list of simultask compatible applications so I can have my messaging app open uh, let's say I want to open up my browser on the top I can just tap that and it tells me that I can maximize or switch applications by touching the screen again I'll dismiss that but you notice I've got my browser up here and I've got my messaging app down here and you can browse let's go to Android Central and look at there pops right up and you can be down here you know and compose a new message and that's you know that's kind of cool I, I like that you can have two apps going that's you know pretty neat way to multitask let's go back but I can look at the browser and if I decide ah, I want to take a good look at that I can just hit that button and it maximizes it, you know, to both screens. Yeah, that bar in the middle, that's that's going to be an issue for a lot of you guys. I don't know if I could get used to that myself. Uh, the browser, I don't know if it's hardware or software. You know, this is the first dual screen thing we've ever seen. But there's no... Tap that away. Remember it said if you tap two fingers, it'll come up. There's no pinch to zoom or any type of, you know anything like that we can just pick another app though and it open on the bottom or we can multitask and open another app on the top go back to our messaging app 
So that's really neat. You know, it's they're trying to take great advantage of the two screens and the way you can use it. You know, either one big app or two small apps. Uh, that's really cool, and we're going to take a good look at that. You guys will probably get tired of me talking about the Echo, but uh, I can't help it. It's a neat gadget. It's something new, and we're really going to check it out. But I wanted to give you guys a quick hands-on at my little mini laptop I get to play with for two weeks. Uh, yay, I'm a giant. But, uh, I, you know, we'll, we'll have more information to share with you guys here in the, you know, the upcoming days throughout the week. And expect a full review of it, of it soon. In the meantime, I'm out of here. I'm going to play with my tiny laptop. You guys have a good one.